Mandy had leukemia at the age of nine. Thankfully, she got healthy again and um, she had health problems on and off throughout the years. And then at the age of 31, she took a stroke. Um, two thirds of Mandy's brain was affected from the stroke. The doctors didn't think that she would walk again. They said she would have real problems with her talking. But through intense physio, and she was in hospital for five months, you know, that she really got through it. She'd done two years of speech therapy. And again, come on leaps and bounds. She attended the, the group regularly. She was there consistently each week. I said to Mandy, can you write? And Mandy, she sort of looked and down and looked at her right hand and thought, well, I can't use my right hand anymore, but I'll have a go with my left. She got her pen in their hands and I said, Mandy, do you think could you spell cat? So Mandy thought for a moment and she thought and then she put down a few letters in the paper and I looked at it and said, that's great spelling, Mandy, but you've spelt dog instead of cat. And Mandy looked over at her mum and they went into the biggest fit of laughing that lasted for ages. And they both thought they both thought this was hilarious. Then she came in one day and announced that her and her mum were going on a cruise. And we thought, gosh, this was great. So she had to get the map out and show us where she was going. And she was all excited about this. She worked really hard. She enjoyed a challenge. She enjoyed the activities and enjoyed getting it right and getting better and improving. And that's what she did, as I say, as the weeks progressed, so did Mandy. In October, Mandy was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, in January, she went into hospital to have um, a double mastectomy done. And just because of Mandy's history, they took both of her ovaries away as well as a precaution. Mandy actually bounced back really well from, from the surgery. Everybody couldn't believe how well she'd done. And then she took a pain in her side and tests showed that the cancer had spread. Actually, in the end, there wasn't anything they could do for Mandy. Before Mandy passed away, we were able to tell her that she'd won the Stroke Award. And she was, she was thrilled to bits. Mandy would have been so proud to be standing up, accepting the award. She'd have loved all the glitz and the glam, you know, getting the hair done, the face done, out picking a new dress, smile on her face, as always. That's what everybody always remembers about Mandy, is her big smile on her face all the time. She was just so courageous, so courageous and... We all loved her dearly and are so proud of her.